Sam is very sad. She always makes things worse even in the luckiest places. Bob thought for a moment, but he told Sam that Sam wasn't that bad. Sam is pure kindness that most people don't have. Bob still remembers the first time he met Sam. Sam's first instinct was to share. Yes. Sam was willing to share a delicious meat sandwich with Bob. Sam helps others even if she has to sacrifice her own will. And oddly enough the only thing Sam really wanted was something that made other people happy. Behind Sam's bad luck. Sam always makes the situation better. Even her little friend, Hazel, doesn't really need luck. Because Hazel is the luckiest girl who has a friend like Sam. Sam was crying. Bob touched Sam and didn't mean to make her sad. Sam then wiped her tears. There must be a way to fix all this damage. Yes, maybe, if only there was good luck hidden. Bob was a little pessimistic. Hearing the phrase, if only there is good luck hidden, Sam suddenly remembered something. There is good luck in bad luck. Sam saw it when she accidentally strayed into bad luck. Bob and Sam return to bad luck to take good luck. At bad luck they then meet Rudy, the owner of a tropical juice bar. He's also the mayor at bad luck. Everyone at the bar knew who Bob was. Because Bob had spent his days on bad luck before he got lucky penny. Bob says they need Rudy's help. Luck's line has been broken. The scrambler is broken. Sam once saw a green light around a bar and wished it good luck. Rudy says it's true. They have even if only a little, put a lucky shot. Rudy found some good luck dust while repairing a cracked pipe. Then he picked it up and he put it there, so everyone who was in bad luck could have a little bit of good luck. Not only the dust of good luck, Sam and Bob also need the dust of bad luck, and will leave it to the dragon. Jeff, Sam and Bob meet the dragon. At first the dragon was angry but because there was Jeff she melted. It's been a hundred years since they've been apart, now they can meet again. Jeff asked the dragon to listen to Sam and Bob. Sam points out good luck dust and bad luck dust that might fix the scrambler. Dragon wonder, where did they get it? Of course from bad luck, and they are happy to share. Sam asked the dragon to turn the two dust into two stones. The two dusts were placed in front of the dragon. With the ancient fire, the dragon exhausts the dust of good luck and the dust of bad luck. Until it becomes two good luck stones, and one bad luck stone.